What's up guys and welcome to the next crack a pack video today We're opening up one of my favorite sets actually uh, mirrored and besieged. This is a great set There's a lot of good stuff in here sitting at the top sitting around $40. We have blight steel colossus uh, If you play any uh, old-school magic vintage legacy that kind of thing tinker into blight steel is a almost almost automatic win uh, We of course have the swords in here as well sitting at the top. We have sword of feast and famine at $40 uh, down below that we have Ink Moth ne Nexus, excuse me, sitting around $23, and then at $20 bucks, we have Tezzeret Agent of Bolus, which is a personal favorite Planeswalker of mine. I love that card. So, as always, we are going to go through this as if this is pack one, pick one in a draft environment. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can, but if I get anything wrong, please berate me in the comment section below. That is perfectly fine with me. So, we will go ahead and get started with a Leonin Skyhunter 2-2-2 two, two, two for f uh, flying. Uh, this is fine. I like this card actually. Uh, it's a good on curve two drop uh, that has flying. It's evasive. Uh, so this is actually quite good. So far, if I had to pick that, obviously it wouldn't be great because that's a pretty terrible first pick, but it's very good filler in a white deck. So uh, next card, Bladed Sentinel, 2 4 for 4. You can then pay one white and it gains vigilance until end of turn. I don't particularly like this card to be honest. Uh, Ogre Resistor is a 4-3 for 4. Again, not that exciting. It's pretty vanilla, and I mean, it's fine filler uh, in a red deck. Spin Engine is 3 cost for a 3-1 artifact creature construct, and you can pay 1 red, and target creature can't block uh, Spin Engine this turn. This is better than the Bladed Sentinel, in my opinion, because you can kind of pick and choose what you want to block it, uh, but still not very good. Uh, Mirren Metal is a one green for an instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. And if you have Metalcraft, that creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Metalcraft only triggers if you have three or more artifacts. So this is actually a decent combat trick. Uh, I don't like early picking combat tricks just in general though, so I wouldn't pick it outright. Uh, Viridian Emissary is a two one for two elf scout. When it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. I like this card not as much as the Sky Hunter, uh, but it does ramp you in a situation where it blocks something or it gets destroyed in some way. Uh, so really not bad. Tangle Hulk is a 5-3, 5 cost artifact. Uh, you can tap 2 and a green to regenerate it. It's kind of just a big beater. It's, you know, it's fine. It's filler. It's nothing great. Uh, Priest of Norn. A 3-drop, 1-4 with Vigilance and Infect. Uh, I These are interesting cards. So cards that have like a really big butt and no power are always a little bit interesting. Infect is also really important with this. But because it has Vigilance, it can just kind of block for days and then throw minus 1, minus 1 counters around. Uh, Proliferate, I believe, is also in this set. So you can actually do some stuff with that. I It's not terrible, I guess. It doesn't seem great either, though. Uh, so I don't think I'd pick that. Uh, Phyrexian Digester is a 2-1 for 3 with Infect. Uh, sort of, I, again, kind of filler in an Infect deck, right? Like, it doesn't seem that great in my opinion. Steel Sabotage, uh, 1 blue for an instant. Counter target artifact spell or return target artifact to its owner's hand. This is actually a pretty good card in this set specifically. Artifacts are obviously very prevalent. So, uh, in a situation where you find yourself up against a, an opponent that's playing quite a number of them, this card is going to hit quite often, and really in any deck, they're probably going to have a number, like a small number of artifacts that you'll be able to hit. So, not bad by any means, definitely not first pick though. Uh, Kemba's Legion is a 4-6 for 7 with Vigilance. Uh, it can block an additional creature for each equipment attached to it. This is an interesting card. I don't know, I mean, I assume this is better than the Sky Hunter. Uh, I know equipment is pretty prevalent in this set, so it would be pretty easy to go for something like that. Uh, it's also still in one color, and it, it has a big butt. Uh, so I'm going to say that's better, but I, again, I apologize if I'm wrong on that one. Strandwalker uh, is a 5-drop artifact equipment. It is a living weapon, so when it comes into the battlefield, put a 0-0 black germ creature token onto the battlefield and attach this to it immediately. So it basically gets a creature out with it. Equip creature gets plus two, plus four, and has reach, and you can equip it to any other creature for four. If I already had the Legion, I would love a card like this. So I think uh, I like this, but not first pick. Uh, Quilled Slagworm is an 8-8 eight, eight, for seven. Uh, that's it. It's pretty good. 
actually. Uh, it's above above the stack curve, uh, and it's a giant bomb. So I actually kind of dig this. It's not relying on any other cards like the like the Legion is. So I kind of I kind of dig that. Uh, our rare is Creeping Corrosion. Destroy all artifacts for two and two green. I don't know if this is really good. And the only reason I say that is because, yes, there are going to be artifacts to hit on the opponent's side of the field. There most likely will also be artifacts on your side of the field, though. Uh, and sometimes this is only going to take out a couple small things. So I don't think this is really worthwhile playing in limited. Uh, we, of course, have our germ token and our land. I think I would actually take the slagworm. I, I mean, it's just a big beater, but I kind of dig it. It's an 8-8 eight, eight for 7. It's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'd pick. Uh, it could be that the Legion is actually a little bit better, but I might be incorrect on that. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I'm incorrect. Please let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like or comment down below. As always, guys, please make sure to subscribe as well. We have a lot of content coming out that we want you guys to enjoy. So if you're interested, make sure to do that and turn that notification bell on. That way you'll get notified for every video that we put out, which is like six or seven a week. Like it's kind of a lot. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Crack a Back video.